hundreds of Nigerian Christians were killed on Christmas Day and no one's talking about it. We cannot see it anywhere. We're not seeing it anywhere. There was no news about it, nothing. This is because the devil is trying to keep us from praying in the spirit about this. We need to be praying for our brothers and sisters in Nigeria. We need to be praying that the Lord strengthens them, that the Lord delivers them, that the Lord leads them to safety in the name of Jesus. We need to pray that this- Hey man, I'm all about praying, but we need to, you know, we need some uh, concrete uh, action. You know what I'm saying? We need, we need to, uh, you know, raise awareness and we, we need to do stuff. We need to pray and then, you know, both, right? It, you can't just hope and pray and do nothing. Situation strengthens them and give them the boldness that they need in the name of Jesus. And we have hope because we already know what was foretold about the end times. Okay. First. Oh damn. She going, she going in right now. Let's stay on topic. 40 people massacred in Nigeria over the holiday weekend, reportedly by armed Fulani herdsmen who frequently target Christians for their faith. Church pastors were killed and hundreds of houses were destroyed. One resident told reporters Muslim terrorists attacked Christian villages on Saturday and continued their attacks through Christmas Day. Yeah, and again, I mean, this is stuff that nobody wants to talk about, and you're considered a right, like not right. I mean, they say racist though; it doesn't make sense. Islam is not a race; it's a religion that people like to adopt. And unfortunately, the words that are said in in uh, in Islam, in the Quran, in the Hadiths, and the life of Muhammad have led to violence. And the life of Muhammad, who is the example for. Muslims for all time was a very violent life. And, you know, he took African slaves, you know, pedophilia, we could go on and on. But I follow this news channel, which is the um, Jihad Watch. It follows all of the, um, for example, all of the stuff that's going on with Jihad that nobody covers that it just, I mean, if you watch this, you can't un unsee it because you start to realize like how much is really going on that the mainstream news doesn't report. And I don't even necessarily think it's the main, I think it's all news. They don't report it. I mean, I don't hear like these like based podcasters, these based Christian, uh, you know, YouTube channels talk about stuff like this, like Nigeria, Muslim stop vehicle, single out Christians murdered three of them. Like, and this, th I mean, this is, I'm on the page just for Nigerians, Nigeria, and it's like, it's insane. I mean, even if we just like read the beginning, this is reminiscing of other incidents, including when the Muslim Minnesota asked the mall shoppers. Yeah. So they're just asking people when they ask if he was Muslim or Christian. Dang, that's crazy. In Mali, Muslim screaming Allah Akbar took hostages, freeing those who could recite the Quran. Three killed as suspected Boko Haram terrorist attack road passengers in Yob. Uh, let's see, at least three innocent uh, citizens were reportedly killed in a recent attack in Yob state by suspected Boko Haram insurgents. Reports obtained by Naja News on Thursday revealed that, see, Naja News, like this is, I've never even heard of this, but this is the thing. You have to, when there are certain things that people aren't reporting, you have to go to like these like, you know, they might be credible, but still nobody really knows it. I mean, you can kind of isolate these events, but what's difficult is really getting a statistic. I mean, this is, there's no, like, I feel like there's not a ton of news outlets that are really talking about this. So it's tough to, I mean, it's probably just mayhem out there. Death toll and jihad attack on fishing village rises to 75. Yeah, just, uh, you know, really, really tough things to see.